Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In today's video, I will show you a simple and effective way to scan and list all IP addresses and MAC addresses on your network using just one command. And you can execute it in the command prompt window to scan the network and list all IP addresses and MAC addresses associated with it on your network. This is essential for anyone who manages a network, whether you are troubleshooting connectivity issues, player, identifying connected devices, or performing security checks. I will also show you how to save the results in a text file for easy reference. Let's get started. Type command prompt in the search bar on the taskbar and open it as an administrator. In the command prompt, type the command that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave you the command in the video description, and this command lists all the IP addresses that your computer has recently communicated with, as well as their MAC addresses, and determines whether they are dynamic or static. The command ARP-A is a tool built into Windows that displays the address resolution protocol table. This table matches IP addresses to their corresponding MAC addresses on your local network. It is very useful. And suppose you want to save the result in a text file, you can enter the command that appears in front of you on the screen as the result will be directed to a file instead of displaying it in the CMD window. And the file is created in the same directory in which the command was executed. Then, navigate to the location where you ran the command and open the file using Notepad or any text editor to review the listed devices. You will indeed find that the result of the command has been saved in a text file that collects information about the devices that the computer has connected to and thus manages them for future use. And that's all. With simple steps, you can scan and display all IP and MAC addresses on your network using this command. And it is a powerful tool for troubleshooting network problems and tracking connected devices. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more technical lessons. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.